somebody should translate, I think, or German. Uh -huh. Again, for what they achieved in Guru Puja. The way the whole thing was arranged so beautifully and organized so beautifully, so that nobody felt any strain whatsoever. Of course, in Sahaja Yoga, there are always ups and downs, as you have seen. We try to do our level best, but still sometimes we feel that there can be some mistakes we might have committed. But this, it is not for you to be upset about it, because once you have reached the shores of joy, then you should not give it up for anything, because it is own ch your choice whether you want joy or you want unhappiness. Now, in this Guru Puja, I felt everybody reached a very great height of achievement <coughs> and have become the joy itself. Now, whatever <coughs> your past was, <coughs> whatever mistakes you might have committed, in the past, in your ascent, or whatever might have happened in the past because of others to you, is all lost in the past, the ocean of the past. Let it be. It's all right. <coughs> I won't need it, it's all right. But now, you see, when you reach a certain state, then you should not allow anything of the past to come back. I would even suggest to give, give a challenge to the past. It should be like this, you see, keep it like that. It's a good habit, huh? I just have to remember it, yeah. Now, after some time, I have also learned how to use the mic. <laughs> Sri Mataji, the UN mics, they are like that, you can move and do whatever you, you want to do, it still catches. This is a very oh, special… Oh, terrible there. <laughs> <laughs> I know them very well. <laughs> you see, yeah, I mean, even if you speak there, I've seen that they move, you know, with you, as if… <laughs> <laughs> you get frightened of that. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. So, you have to challenge the past. Ah, now you sit down here. Ah, now let's see. What was the past? Oh, that one was, that one was. All right, let's see that. Gone to waste. Finished. Good for nothing. Like that. Then you are fixed into this point. But even if you are afraid of the past to look at it, oh God, and you feel funny, <laughs> or you get angry with yourself, or you feel <coughs> upset about it, then yet you have not reached the point. So now you have to see it, that you are at a distance, that's why you are seeing it. Nothing can touch you. So the <coughs> judgment will come from you to yourself. Am I still involved in the past that was last, that was yesterday, is finished now? Am I even now bothered about it? And your mother will also sometimes test you on that. <laughs> sometimes I may remind you of some mistake of yours. 
and then see what happens to you. And then I will know where are my children. <laughs> now you have become the fruit which is ripe. So why should you worry about things which you are not anymore? Now if you have become a full-fledged bird, why should you worry about the egg that used to smell so badly? Also <laughs> so this is the attitude one must have towards oneself the confidence within yourself so that's how you challenge your past and now you can even challenge your future now start thinking what can happen to us supposing <laughs> which is very a uh, very common nature of the Western people, yes. Because if you tell somebody, now will you please go and telephone to that person, immediately that person will tell you, perhaps he may not be there. <laughs> <laughs> now let me see what's the time. This is the time he has to go out, so he must have gone out. But why don't you telephone? And you telephone and the fellow is there. This is the, West, the Western style of futuristic the explanations of everything. Das ist die westliche Art, den uh, uh, Sachen in ein Fu uh, Zukunfts ah. zukunftsmäßig, zukunftsmäßig Art und Weise zu erklären. Zukünftige. Hmm. That difficult. It's a word which doesn't exist. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Futuristic. 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 I mean, what do you say to future? Zukunft. Zukunft. Zuko. Zukunft. And then make it into ik, that's all. <laughs> Zukünftige Art und Weise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have to coin words now, what to do? Now, so when uh, you challenge your future, I've been always challenged by the people who are futuristic all the time. Like uh, uh, you tell them, I want to do this. So they'll say, but in that the problem is this. <laughs> Problem. Well, see, this is modern word. Nice. We, we never knew this word before for all these things. We used to only use it in geometry. <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> really, I'm telling you the <laughs> Now, this word geometry, you see, it was for pr proving something, you see, that was the problem. So, that's how we have proved, you see. So, now. You see, then another thing, if you say that, all right, this is the problem, so can you try this one? He said, then the problem is this. <laughs> you give the solution another, another problem. By the time there are eleven solutions, you are fagged out and you just sit down, you don't know what to say. <laughs> now your mind has been doing the same thing with you. You see, that kind of a mind always tries to find problem because it doesn't want to solve. So as soon as it start, wants to say, he wants to go somewhere to the station, immediately says, the problem is there's no car. That means he starts quarreling with himself all the time. His body is quarreling on one side, his heart is on another side, his mind on another side, liver is on another side. So as a result, at the end of the day, you find all of them sitting <sighs> <laughs> doing nothing whatsoever, all exhausted, fighting with oneself. You see any film or anything nowadays, the modern ones, you'll find all of them in the film, they'll come and sit down chair. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> but you see, the trouble is, what have you been doing? What work have you done? nothing but thinking and figuring out. 
now you are sahaj yogis you have to remember that god's all powers are with you but only thing you have to be with him the uh, the powers are with you but they are not going to run after you <laughs> i mean if you want to wriggle out of it what can the powers do so you have the powers of god i'll give you an example there was once in my house you see i had made a uh, baluster a complete baluster for the staircase and i told him para that you fix it up and i'm resting for a while because now all the gods are sleeping so i'll rest for about half an hour and you try to fix it up and i was just lying down in the drawing room uh, where he was fixing it up you see I got up after one hour. Still, he was sitting with a ha hand like this. <laughs> <laughs> he was measuring this distance, that distance, again going back to that and measuring it with very, very small caliper. I <laughs> had <laughs> did everything, and he was tired. I said, "All right, just lift this and fix it." And it fixed. It was fixed in a second. And in an. You see, because I know I have God's powers. So what is it? If I say the mood has to increase or decrease, just fix it. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> so I, that's how. You see, the future we start thinking like this now. Let me figure it out if it works out or not. Let me fix me up. What is there? This is God's work. Just fix it. It will fix. But still. some people will linger on to think how can it be mother <laughs> now i'll tell you the secret you are in the brahma shakti and this brahma shakti is the vibrations that you feel it has all the creative power it has all the destructive power it has all the evolutionary power it has all the powers we can say and it's like a big computer it uses whenever it whatever it wants to use now if you take a molecule of sulfur dioxide you'll find a sulfur has got two oxygens see vibrating tak 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 like that there are different types some type isometric and all that different different types of vibrations the vibration equal or unequal these vibrations are brahma shakti and they exist in every matter whether dead or alive so when you say that fix the wood knows the order has come and the vibrations in the molecules act <laughs> sorry i didn't understand Well, no. Yeah, you just say. Let him have molecules. Uh, it's he say. Um, uh, you you say. He can say. The wood, the wood knows it, and the molecules. No, no, no. In in, in, <laughs> in German, in German. Also, I know now. Also, <laughs> it's so interesting. Everything you see. so this brahma shakti is everywhere it penetrates into everything and if you believe in god it acts in everything but it's not blind belief first you have to be perfect sahaj yogi then you are one with the brahma shakti you can control everything and you do not waste your energy in controlling nonsensical things you don't want to become like a juggler you see creating a flower out of a thorn or sort of a thing <laughs> but wherever necessary it works it acts so you will have experiences in life one by one and you will be amazed how things work out and then you will realize that you are not an ordinary sajogi whatever you have committed wrong in the past or whatever you used to think of the future the present becomes divine 
and that divine present is the ocean of joy, of which you are the part and par particle. Just enjoy that. As I was telling you today that then you don't think about who is the enjoyer and who is the creator. You just become the existence. Existence is the present. That is how it works out. Where you lose all words, all thoughts, all feelings, uh, uh, which are emotional type, an absolutely silent confidence. You drink like nectar of life. May God bless you. <laughs>